My name is Joshua Jonathan from Nasarawa Rice Innovation Platform in Nigeria. The Nasarawa Rice Innovation Platform came to be just about one, more, one year, nine months now. Uh, with the training, the capacity building of our members, we are somewhere now in the, the technology transfer. We started with uh, two groups, and today we have uh, 172 primary, member, primary cooperative groups with membership of 2,796 members. Uh, different actors are involved. Uh, before the, here, there are several projects that have come in board with different intervention. But the unique about the uh, new research work innovation platform is very, very unique. Because all the actors, they have the association before, but now they are pulled together to be in one place. This has brought about a positive change in times of fast development in the value chain of rice productivities. I have seen where the farmers belong to their farmers association, the parabola belongs to their parabola association, the miller belongs to... But when they were working as individual group, there was not quality control. But now the farmers are there, the, fa the parabolas are there, the millers are there, and other actors. They are working together under the innovation platform, who is very, very unique. I have seen this working. Uh, the quality of eyeball rice have increased tremendously, and people are coming to the life to like Nigeria rice because of this. Uh, the traditional way of processing rice in Nigeria has failed because our Nigeria like uh, stone-free rice and they want high quality rice, imported rice. They love imported rice. Well, we produce a lot of rice, but people does, doesn't cherish them. But because of the jam now, I want to say it emphatically that Nigeria are coming back to their home rice. Uh, many government officials are patronizing the rice. For now, as I'm telling you, we started with uh, a figure uh, when we did the training uh, for, from that training to March this year, we are able to process 168 metric ton of rice in the jam center. Uh, that gets translated to the mill rice of 213.6 metric ton. We are able to reach several customers. Uh, you can see that we are able now to reach over 4,000 customers. And the rice we are processing in Lafayette, and one of the states in Nigeria, has gone to 15 states. Many people have shown interest. Many people are coming every day. They want to be part of this new innovation. And we, we see Nigeria coming. At, in fact, there's a company from Ghana, the GIZ, GIC, Green Innovation Center Ghana. They also came to visit in our innovation platform. Uh, actually, you know, we have discussed in time, they are also trying to see how they can also partner with us to give us even, uh, they promise us a dryer, even in our center. I think we are working on that to see how that the decision will come to be. Uh, there are several decisions that we have taken as an IP because one of our main goal and objective is to reach out with quality rice in the Nigeria market and even beyond. I'm sure very soon it will go to Africa. If we can be supported to have many other people coming in to, to support us, because the one center we have now is not enough. Sometimes the, the, the demand is so high that uh, even the, uh, the, 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 the buyers could wait, they, they will wait for a long time before they even get the rice, because we have to process and make available to them. Our members are very, very numerous, like I said, 2,000. Uh, 799, it's not a small figure. They are all part of this uh, IP and they are also benefiting from it. They process their rice using the technology being taught to them through jam. They are also using it to, to, to bring their body to come and meal in the same meal. So we would like the agency responsible to help us. If we can have more jam center, it will help us. We will reach out because the, the, the branding name now 
that we have, we are just trusting God that we will have our brand bags so that we will be able to package it like imported rice. Because many other people come in and they are asking of our branding bag. Because our quality, the standard has reached that standard that we can bag it and nobody will question it. So we, we, we are moving, the IP is moving. We want to thank the African rice, uh, especially for their technology, for backstopping us, for teaching us this method. Had you told like before, people have decided, and many other women who were jobless before, after the training, they now gain employment. They are buying two, three bags of padina, parboling it on their own. Some of them are parboling for fees and doing it for other people and taking their money as service provider. I think it has increased a lot of uh, job opportunity for our people, especially the youth and women. Women are very, very inquisitive about this new development because some of them that were just staying home with their wives or husbands, now they have something doing. Even if they don't have money to, to buy the party and pro process it, buy boil it, and then meal, they, they, can, they could go out to use the skill they learn to process for some other people who has the party, and then they, 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 they take their money. So that is a very good image for Nigeria at this moment. And we want to thank African Bank and thank African Rice specifically for their technology. This jam technology is a great relief to Africa. I'm sure if more area is open to this, uh, then Africa will not need any foreign rice. We will be able to produce enough for ourselves and we will be satisfied with what we're doing.